Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm going to introduce you to a new feature in the essential callout effect. In addition to text callout titles, you can now also use various types of content as callouts, including images, videos, text, compound clips, and more. Essentially, anything you can put on a timeline. If you haven't seen my previous callout videos, you can find the links in the description below. To use the template in DaVinci Resolve, simply download the templates, unzip and double-click the DRFX file to install. Once installed, you can drag the effect from the effect panel and apply it to clips in the timeline. By default, you will get an animated callout title. You can find more details in my previous videos about callout styles, animations and motion tracking. In the inspector, we have a new setting called callout mode with three options, text, clip and clip 2. The default text mode uses text as the main callout body. Clip mode transforms the current clip into a callout. And clip 2 mode enables a clip name field as a clip drop zone for changing the callout content. By default, it will take the current clip as the input. Drag and drop any clip from the media pool in this field. Move the playhead to ensure the new image callout is in effect. When the fusion overlay is turned on in the viewer, we can use the on-screen controls to adjust the callout point and size directly in the viewer. In either clip or clip 2 mode, we can use the image adjustment settings to change the image style and position. All the other callout settings work the same way as in the text mode. For example, we can enable all the animation effects for the callout body. Fade in. Zoom in. Set a slide distance. We now have a combined animation to reveal the callout image. Similar to text callouts, you can also enable the tracker to track an image callout to a moving object. Enable the fusion overlay in the viewer. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning. Temporarily disable the animation so that we can see where the callout is. Adjust the callout position as needed. Move the tracker pattern, resize the pattern. Since it's a fast moving scene, we would give it a larger search area. Start tracking. It took a bit of time, but the result looks good. Now the callout follows the moving car. If you want to make a callout with both text and images, you can create a compound clip. For example, here in the timeline, we have four clips on top of each other to create the resulting image we want to use as a callout. Select all of them, right click to create a compound clip. A compound clip item is added in the media pool. Apply the callout effect. Change the mode to clip. The compound clip is now transformed to a callout. If needed, use the on screen controls and inspector options to adjust the callout and image styles. If you want to track the callout in another clip, first apply the effect to the other clip. Change the mode to clip 2. Then drag the compound clip and drop it in the clip name field. Now we have a callout object in the new clip and we can enable the tracker to track the callout. Using this method, you can create callouts however you want with your own unique designs. If you are comfortable with the Fusion page, you can also compose your callout content in the Fusion page. For example, 
Right-click the clip and open it in the Fusion page. Add a text title. Add a logo from the media pool. Back to the edit page, apply the callout effect. Set the mode to clip. We now have the callout content using the fusion composition. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.